What's up everyone? I'm the Devastating Just Cause and this is DJC Game Studios. Welcome. It's right there. I see you. Welcome to the show. And welcome. I don't know what this was, but I know what this is and this is in television revisited. Welcome. Where we go back. We use a DeLorean powered by a Merlin and a few Amicos and some controllers. Those are, those are part of it, too. We are going to look at what you get in an Amico. So, we got Founders coming soon. So, let's, let's see what we're getting as far as all the pack-ins. Let's talk the pack-in games. Now, number one, a great, great undersea adventure and a retro reimagined title from the original lineup of Intellivision, and that is Shark Shark. This was fantastic with kids, families. Kids were playing this with their parents a lot. You had a, a really cool thing with a controller. Um, basically, all you're using is that disc, that dial. You can spin it around like a steering wheel. You can go left, right, up, down. It's however you want to control it. This is what really shows off the feature on how that disc controls, how it looks, and how it feels in a game. And I tell you what, th th this was probably the most popular played next to like, well, let's talk about this other one, which is Astro Smash. We all remember Astro Smash as old retro gamers, right? Um, and a lot of people don't, but you know, that if you're an older retro gamer like me, not that old. But it is a really, it is a really good experience. Astro Smash has some of the best orchestrated music. Um, of, of probably any of the games I played, and that's like my, my most anticipated. And because it's a pack-in, I get to play it right away, right off the box. You, you plug in and you play ass already on the console. But it is it is it is one of my most anticipated ones. Um, I was a fan of the original one. My dad used to play it all the time. He'd play it with me. But then you have another one in there, which is another retro reimagined in television original with all new graphics and all new stakes. Not stakes, but maybe flags. <laughs> no, it's skiing. And going downhill, you want to avoid those flags, because when you hit them, it makes quite the thump. <laughs> Remember thump in hockey. But that was also a nice crash into the tree in, in skiing. I remember those, those sounds. Um, but anyways, yes, downhill skiing. Really fun, really cool. You're jumping over canyons and gorges, and you're trying to race each other to the bottom. Um, a nice uh, co-op game where you can get multiple players. Uh, this is fun. This is the only one of the only ones I never really got my hand on. Um, as far as uh, like some of the retro reimagined, it was there. It was one of the ones that was available for playing at a couple of the events too. Um, and I saw a lot of people having fun, but I probably put the most time in on on uh, Astro Smash. <laughs> like I love that game, but. Here you go, a fantastic scheme for, hey, we're in the Winter Olympics right now, right? And there you go, there's some scheme. Next uh, up on the list is Farkle. Now Farkle, I believe, is uh, is like a Yahtzee style game. You know, uh, it's like it's like saying, hey, I wanna play Go Fish or War. This is a dice counting game. Um, these can be very fun. Um, I used to play a lot of this going, when we go camping and we're just sitting out, yet you, you got a, a can full of dice and a and a notepad or now you can actually pull the apps up on your on your uh smartphone and, and you can literally just keep count that it'll count everything for you and everything because i'm terrible with math <laughs> and to look at i'm always like one two three four five six you know but farkle a nice little party board game or dice game if you will um really interactive with the screen and shaking up the dice and everything like that so i really thought that was shaking up the dice on your controller than throwing it out on the on the on the can uh, the felt i should say I thought that was always really cool. I cannot wait for more card games where you everybody has a screen in their hand and you could see your hand, you know, and, and then you kind of kind of put it up on your TV and, you, you know, like, and they have a lot of card games coming out for that. So I can't wait to see that. Then you have a sports and recreation title, and this is Cornhole. Now, Cornhole is uh, kind of a motion control thing, and there's a couple different ways you can play it. They've, uh, they've added some features, which they were kind of, since they had time, they added more features of you control your arc, uh, where it's going to land, so you want to bump a bag off the top of the uh, board, 
or you know land in a certain way and then you can throw and there's also a, spe a regular feature where you just just do your toss and, and it's more of a simple simplified way to do it for young people old people that you know just want to just want to pick up and play uh, but like you it can get more technical with your throws um, lots of different boards lots of different uh, uh, areas all over the world you can play and this is actually the American Cornhole League uh, like this is they put in their logo on this you know uh, just like they're gonna have MLB baseball coming out uh, most likely later in the year uh, for this uh, or for whenever you know uh, but that they got a lot of lot of good licenses and I thought that was just a really cool thing so you really get these six so you got Astra Smash you got Farkle you got Cornhole you got Skeen you got Shark Shark and wait a second there is a really cool, I'm guessing, party game that is going to be included as a six that will as soon as they launch will be announcing. And I think that's kind of fun. So we're actually going to have a six game. So, uh, yeah, six pack-ins, two color touchscreen controllers, and your console. And for those of you that pre-ordered uh, right now the through intellivision.com uh, they had a remember you're getting for well the people that had gotten the founders there's 2600 editions that were founders which are those wood grain editions the wood grain and gold to kind of match the old intellivision you know um and those came with a 50 dollar game gift card so that is kind of like so you actually get like 50 bucks off pretty much to buy a bunch more games now mind you if anyone remembers um about a month or so ago they did release a bunch of physical games, too. So there is eight total physical games. You have Rigid Force Redux. You got Dino Blaster, Biplanes, Moon Patrol. Uh, that's four. <laughs> uh, Missile Command, uh, Finnegan Fox Brain Duel. Uh, so I really think the eight, these eight, well, I know these eight games are available at launch, too. So if you already have those, that's another eight games. You just tap them on the console, and there they are. Um, this is, I really like these little packaging. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if you've seen that. You've probably seen it all over YouTube for a couple months or a month or so, whatever it's been. But I really like this. So I got I got a couple packs of these, of the eight packs, just to have have those. And later on, maybe maybe keep the, the two of them. I got them in already in clear protectors, are the ones I opened. Um, and then maybe maybe sell a set or something, you know, 10 years down the line not, and keep two sets. Who knows? That stuff gets collectible, you know. Um, but anyways, that's what you get. So I wanted to revisit the... the blah, 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 blah. I wanted to revisit these six pack-ins. Uh, so can't wait as we get closer to that, that announcement. Uh, end of this month in February. So until then, please like, please subscribe. And don't forget to tune in, if you're an Intellivision fan, to Astro Smashed Mondays. Every Monday I talk classic Intellivision, me and Papa Pete, and a, occasionally a guest or two pop in. Uh, and we, and we uh, talk some classic Intellivision and just the whole homebrew scene in Intellivision. Uh, so please check that out every Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. And also Wednesdays for people excited about the Intellivision Amico. We do a all fan live stream, so come on in there, talk what could be this this week on Wednesday at 9:30 p.m. Eastern. We'll be talking about what type of driving games would be good for this system, retro style driving games reimagined, and we'll also be talking about Jungle Hunt and Bump and Jump. What are they doing with those licenses, and what type of things are we going to see out of that? Probably a cool jungle adventure game and a really cool driving and bumping around i don't know why i'm doing this I look like the gopher from uh i literally do look like the gopher from caddyshack i need to stop that right now but anyways tune in every wednesday and every monday and then obviously tune into the channel i love in television i constantly talk about it and i and i tell you what i'm completely honest i've played the in television amico many times with a ton of these games it's a great product there's so much negativity and hate i understand that but if you look past that at the product it's fantastic and i cannot wait to show it here and play it here on this channel you guys take care now oh don't forget to subscribe i already said that darn it almost almost flawless only a couple cuts only a couple jump cuts 
Okay. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. There you go. Come on, eat up.